So I'll put my own hit in the ring. Super nice position with BHP Bulletin. Um, I'm a production administrator at Brookman 2 Mine Site. Um, I work for Rio Tinto, which is one of the biggest mining companies in the world. Um, great company to work for. I work a fly in, fly out roster. So I work nine days on um, on site and five days back home in Perth. And I love it. Love the lifestyle, and the people that I work with, and everything. Uh, main thing is the money, um, but the roster as well, the work-life roster, um, I'm a, I do really prefer doing the nine days on, five days off, because um, you get that big chunk of time off rather than just the weekends if you're doing a Monday to Friday job in the city. Um, yeah, and it's good while we're up on site, you know, everything everything gets paid for and so we've, we've got no worries and yeah. During the day I'm a bartender at a local pub around the area, um, at night. <laughs> um, we do, I do lots of stuff. Um, I have a, a singing trio with, with my wife and, and our cousin. We perform all over Perth. Um, we've opened for some big acts, massive. Yeah, but we kind of had to open for New Zealand acts here in Australia. So yeah. it's like, how do we open for Addies in Perth? That's weird. <laughs> Three Marys Three and, Marys a, guitar. and a guitar. That's all it is. That's our, that's our hook. Yeah. But um, so there's that. I'm also um, currently a Stevie Wonder impersonator. The only one in um, WA? The only one in the state. <laughs> so I'm a little bit proud of that. Um, currently working on two new bands, um, a sort of a funk soul cover band doing a lot of different Stevie Wonder stuff. And um, I've just been approached to do a Motown singing boys group. So. Pretty full on, yeah. Okay, so uh, at the moment I'm uh, what they call a, hope, uh, a health and safety superintendent. Um, that role involves looking after all the, uh, the health and the safety of the employees on the site. Um, pretty much it's universal, that, that job. The role I play is a, is a pretty big one at the moment. I work for, um, on the Roy Hill project, um, which is a $12 billion project at the moment. Um, the company I work for is actually called Samsung, CNT. Um, we've been um, uh, engaged to manage the building of the, um, the port, which is a two berth port, uh, three kilometres worth of overland conveyor, um, a tar dumper, a greenhouse, stockyards, uh, 340 kilometres worth of rail, and a mine processing plant. Uh, we expect that the first train will be loading up our first ship to China in about August 2015. But at the moment, now, I'm a stay-at-home mum. I love it. I want to go back to work because I love working, but my yeah. partner, he earns good money out there. He's on yeah, the trade and yeah, communication, so he wants me to stay home. Cool. Oh, God, I want to go to work. I love it. I love it. Cool. Yeah. I don't even care about the money. You know, I, I, the same it just like goes to the work. side and I just... If yeah. people need it, I'll just I'll just give it to them. You know, they need it more than me. Mm. Yeah. But we've you know we've had the opportunity to go travel the world, and we own our car and motorbike and furniture, and we have no loans. We just bought a house. And it's easy. Cool. And that's what I'm scared of as well. I'm scared of leaving that industry. I'm scared of they call it the golden handcuffs. You know, once you get into the industry, you're earning a lot of money. If you were to move to Perth, earning the average wage again. You know, how would you go, like spending wise? Like, I don't spend a lot of money. I, I consider myself a Scrooge, but to have it not there mm. and to live pay to pay, I'm scared of that. Yeah. So I put my hat in the ring and got a position with BHP Bulletin. They have a um, alumina refinery 50 kilometres up into the hills, directly east from where I live. So I started work there as a supervisor. Um, worked as a supervisor for two years. I've been there eight. Um, I'm now currently working in projects. So I'm um, under the inside the engineering department. There is process control and improvement. So we look at um, cleaning out the process stream. It's a 6.5 million dollar. Sorry, 6.5 million ton per year um, 
alumina refinery. In terms of size, there are about 1,800 people on site. It would be well over a thousand acres. They have a 51 kilometre conveyor. So it's a very large area. I work in an area that's precipitation, so there's a lot of engineering works required and a lot of improvement. Um, so I, my job is to analyse issues within the, the process, whether it's the manning levels, whether it's how we approach the work, whether it's IT, HR, or the engineering itself. So it's fully inclusive on how do we improve the process stream. And some of those budgets can be $2.50 for a battery or they can be into the millions, depending on what's required. That's eight years, and so that's um, me now. My job is um, I own, own my own business and, and run my own business, which is a, a music festival called Natural, which is a New Zealand music festival, uh, which I started here in Perth in 2011. So we've just got through three years now and, and working on the fourth year. Um, yeah, I, I got a great job. I love my mahi, to be honest. It's, um, yeah, it beats the hell out of uh, polishing aluminium bull bars. I work for a company called Rio Tinto, which is... I hate to say it's number two largest mining company in the world um, behind <clears throat> BHP. But well, that's cool. Um, and I work in a, in a in the place a place called the Pilbara, which is a renowned for iron ore. And we're an iron ore mine, an open cast iron ore mine. And my particular job, I work in the plant as a fixed plant operator, which means basically the people bring the rock to us, we crush it, screen it into a certain grade then put it onto a train and send it to the port and they send it to a lot to China not just to China but a lot to China yeah from my word I heard they make it into steel products and then sell it back to us or to Australia anyway <laughs> um, at the moment I'm still working at Joondalup Emergency Department I've now been fortunate enough to go onto the casual roster so I can pick up shifts whenever I need them because my music is now quite serious. Um, so at the moment on the go, I've got my duo, which is myself and my keys player, Ash, and we perform, you know, in cafes and restaurants and things like that all over Perth. Trio with my husband and my cousin, David, um, and we're called Box Party because we were formed around a box of beer and we are having a party. So we thought we'd call each other box party. Box party. party. Um, then I'm also um, just auditioned uh, for a play that's kind of out of my comfort zone, but I wanted 2014 to be a year about trying new things. So I auditioned for a role and now I'm gonna be playing Ma Rainey, which is the mother of the blues. So I get to learn and sing the blues and we go to Sydney, we're working on going to Melbourne, Adelaide, and hopefully next year we're off to Edinburgh Fringe Festival in Scotland. So, you know, got quite a lot of things coming up. Um, I also, oh my gosh, I also um, do singing lessons. So I teach our young children how to sing and I get some older people that come along. And I come in on those lessons and teach them how to perform. Yeah. So teach um, them about stage presence and things. But what we've also done is, because when I first moved here, I was a single mum. And I wanted to do singing lessons for my daughters, but I could never afford it. So what we've sort of offered as well is we barter. So if people can't pay it, then they'll be like, I can make you cake or something like that. So then they make us cakes and we, we get fat and it's really cool. But, you know, I try and help those that, you know, some of our, especially our people like to can't afford things sometimes, you know, and if we can help them, mm. you know, because Honestly, our culture's so talented and we just want them to be out in the world and not be shy, not be fucking mine and, and hide. Get out there. In the garage, singing when they've got the most amazing Be talented, voices. show the world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>